Quantum mechanics and relativity theory are two of the most successful and well-established theories in physics, and they have been verified through countless experiments and observations. However, there are certain situations where the two theories appear to be incompatible or inconsistent, and this has led to ongoing efforts to develop a more comprehensive theory that can unify the two. One of the main areas where the two theories conflict is in their description of the nature of space and time. According to relativity theory, space and time are continuous and smoothly connected, while in quantum theory, they are described by discrete and non-continuous units known as quanta. In relativity theory, space and time are treated as a single entity known as spacetime, which is described as a four-dimensional continuum. This means that any event in the universe can be described by its position in spacetime, and the geometry of spacetime is affected by the presence of mass and energy. On the other hand, quantum mechanics describes the universe in terms of discrete particles and their interactions. The theory does not provide a continuous picture of spacetime, and it is based on the idea that particles exist in discrete energy states and can only interact with one another in discrete ways. This difference in the nature of space and time has led to difficulties in reconciling the two theories in situations where both are relevant, such as in the study of black holes and the early universe. In these extreme situations, the effects of gravity are very strong, and the behavior of matter and energy is governed by both quantum mechanics and relativity theory. For example, according to quantum mechanics, particles can be in multiple states simultaneously, which is known as superposition. However, in the presence of a strong gravitational field, as in the case of a black hole, the concept of superposition breaks down, and particles are forced to adopt a single state. This leads to a conflict with the principles of quantum mechanics, which suggests that particles should be able to exist in multiple states simultaneously. Another area of conflict is in the treatment of gravity. Relativity theory describes gravity as a curvature of spacetime caused by the presence of mass and energy, while quantum mechanics does not have a consistent and fully developed description of gravity at the quantum level. This has led to ongoing efforts to develop a theory of quantum gravity that can reconcile the two. One proposed solution is string theory, which suggests that particles are not point-like objects but are instead tiny strings that vibrate at different frequencies. This theory predicts the existence of extra dimensions, which could help reconcile the differences between quantum mechanics and relativity theory. In conclusion, while there is no direct conflict between quantum mechanics and relativity theory, there are certain situations where the two theories appear to be incompatible or inconsistent. These differences arise mainly from their different descriptions of the nature of space and time and the lack of a consistent theory of quantum gravity. However, both theories have been incredibly successful in their respective domains, and many physicists believe that a unified theory that can incorporate both quantum mechanics and relativity theory is possible.